Hello Capricorn, welcome to your weekly love tarot reading. Thank you for clicking onto the video. In this week we're going to be checking into your person's energy, your energy, also the joint connection, what is going on there, how things are between you, whatever this person may be to you. It can be an ex present or even a, a new person that's coming in. Uh, we're going to see, we're going to see as the cards comes out. Uh, first energy out is going to be their energy, kind of seeing what's going on with them. We are also going to be doing something quite fun this week. We're going to be looking into each individual zodiac sign so if you know your person's zodiac sign you'll be able to see a little bit more deeper exactly how they will be reacting to whatever comes out as the main theme of the reading extended reading we are going to be checking into the main thing of all the feelings what will the feelings be moving on from here but if you want to check that out there's a link in that description box below if you so wish to do so let's do this let's see what's underneath this card oh my goodness this is your person's energy what's up with them well, something's difficult, okay? With this energy being there, this is ascending the mountain. Keep going forward. This is an indication that whatever is going on here between you and your person, it's a little bit difficult. They're finding it hard. Um, this could be somebody that you... This is not a new person, by the way. Um, if it is a new person, they're finding it extremely hard to come in. I'm kind of picking up. They will be for only for a few of you. The majority of the, everyone is going to either be an ex-person that's trying to come back in but you might be making it very, very difficult for them to do so. And if this is a person that you're with, um, they're also trying to overcome something here. So something has happened with you guys. Let's see what's going on in your energy. Let's see what's going on. We'll know exactly. It'll be able to put, reveal more about what's going on with this person. Let's have a look and see. Nope, guys, this is a one-way reading, unfortunately. It's either going to have to do with two things here. Both of these things, for this person, it's not positive. For you, it's pretty positive. It's joy and delight. Open your heart to joy. If this person is ascending the mountain and you're going to a place of joy, that indicates that this can be an ex-person that has left your energy a while ago. You are focusing on your own happiness. One of the nicest cards to come out here is this one way or another. It indicates because you it says opening the heart area which indicates that you are pouring self-love back into yourself you've been focusing a lot on yourself as well if this is an ex-person your attention is not really on them your attention seems to be on other things it's almost like you're looking up at the light and the joy of life it's like you're filling your life up with all the things that you want to have there your attention may not be on this person you got this beautiful glow going on there you know you glowed up after the breakup i'm just saying and they lost somewhere in the mountains trying to get back to this energy if this is a current relationship then it's going to be a little bit more as something maybe serious because it indicates that this is a situation that could be running into trouble it's it's almost like you're going you know what i i'm not even putting my attention on this connection anymore if it's not working i can't just give and give and give to something that is continuously not getting any results so you're kind of like putting your attention and you're focusing on yourself but they still trying to make it work they still trying to hold it all together For incoming person i really doubt that it's i mean it is possible it is possible it could be an incoming person if you think about it in this way if you think about the fact that okay maybe you're so focused on your life you're so focusing on doing what you're doing you're happy here um this person's finding it hard to even come in towards you there's a possibility for a small group of you it could be an incoming person um literally it's hard for them to come in you are not open like basically i don't feel like you're open to a, a relationship you're so busy focusing on you and having fun and doing whatever it is you want to do and this person can be like i want a relationship I want to date you and you're just like when do I have the time you know what I mean <laughs> so let's have a look and see wow Capricorn this is nice though let's have a look and see the joy if there was a connection if this could go on or this is gonna be repaid what will happen what hello <laughs> wow I'm just saying, maybe there's a reason they try to climb that mountain. Miracles expect the wondrous to emerge. Wow, I'm actually pretty much stunned. Um, don't know what to expect here. You might be so busy in your own world. 
I feel honestly like you're the one that's creating miracles in your world with this joy, with this open your heart to joy energy. By the way, if you want to create miracles in your world, whatever that may be, financial, relationship, whatever, it is literally letting joy into your heart. When you have the energy of happiness and joy and delight and positivity in your energy, you are opening the door to the miracles to come in. Did you bring this in with this energy? That you're carrying it's bringing somebody back in it's bringing someone in that's making this they going wow wow i want this miracle as well you may be like a miracle to this person whoever they are uh you just honestly my advice is yeah capricorn just keep doing that whatever this is just keep doing that that's working very well for you i mean, just have to say let's have a look and see more into their energy here what else is going on with this person we're going to see maybe more as to what this what this is about. Let's have a look and see. Well, they made a very big mistake. I'm just going to tell you for a lot of you, my goodness gracious, what did they do? Uh, for the ex person, they got, the, you, you don't know what your spirit guides are just saying. I have to say what they're saying. They just said they kind of got what they deserved. Woo, I'm just saying... If you're listening to that, you might go, mm-hmm, yes, they did. If this is a person that you're with as well, they're kind of getting what they deserve as well. Um, the reason why I'm saying that, when I saw the Queen of Swords energy come out, I knew there's something about their behavior that caused all of this to happen. Because there's your very sharp, very, you know, that blade is very sharp. It's very straightforward. It's very cutting. Sometimes look at the expression on this, especially in this deck. Ooh, that queen's face, male or female energy. That doesn't look like a happy face. That looks kind of mean. I'm just saying they can be very sharp tongue. They can be very mean when they speak and say things that can hurt other people as well because the sword is not like you know a feather it's gonna it's gonna hurt you and the thing is yeah it's just seven of swords energy this energy is this energy of i mean almost every tarot reader knows that this is the card of being sneaky okay this is that card of being just a little bit too sneaky over there it's too uh, it's like you get up to things that you should not be getting up to. Um, you you picked up too many swords over there while you still had two swords that were standing behind you. You shouldn't have done that. It's this energy of being unable to say no. And um, they may have caused, if this is basically an X situation, I feel they were the cause of this for some of them. They even left the situation. They were the ones that, that went off and left. And for others, it, their behavior, there could have been a fight here with regards to what was going on in this card and you told them to go. But they were like, they were very confident in this energy of kind of like telling you off. Almost like, oh, I, I, I pick up this arrogant kind of feeling coming from here. Now that this has occurred, they're trying to come back in here. They're trying to come back in. They're trying to fix the situation because I think, you know, whatever they thought they were doing, you know, this energy sometimes is an energy of a person who gets themselves into situations that they shouldn't be getting themselves into. And then they later on regret that energy. This is what's coming up there. Like, wow. So now with you, what's going on? I feel like they're trying to repair the situation. Whatever scenario it is, even if it's a person that you're currently with, it's the same kind of vibe coming up there. But you just get went, oh, okay, so that's how you're going to be. Well, enjoy your life. I'm going to go off and live mine to the fullest. But now they want to come me back in and try to fix this completely. So let's see what's going on in your energy. No, you're recovering from something here. You see, they, they hurt you. This person actually hurt you. You got the temperance in the reverse position. There's your Saggy energy as well. They are, they've hurt you. So you've put the brakes on. You, you may not be communicating with them as well. If for some of you, you guys have blocked communication. You see, the thing is, you put the brakes on here. You said, you know what? Um, this is what you did. You caused me to get really hurt. You caused me to uh, have no security in this connection. Whatever future I had thought I would have with you was like almost taken away by your behavior. You've lived this already. You've been out in that desert by yourself trying to heal the situation. And I feel like you're really on the way to doing so. But you pausing here with regards to this person, even if it is your current person as well, even if it's an ex-person, you're on pause. You're just thinking, you're just going, I don't know, because you remember very well what has taken the place. You know exactly what they have done here to you. And this is what brings the temperance energy up in you. You thinking, you like, you know what? Um, I'm not going to get myself involved in a situation that takes me back down to a place that's like this because you're not here. 
anymore. You hear. Big difference. That is a very big difference over there. You are no longer in the sad kind of energy. You are very happy. And you are not going to go back into the situation anymore as well. So you thinking twice. It's almost this energy of you thinking twice. You're thinking twice about moving forward. You're thinking twice about doing anything with them. But now, because the energy came up as miracles, expect wondrous to emerge. Does this indicate their hope towards you? Or does it indicate um, that they have they can they can be remorseful? Ooh, lovers in the reverse card just came out in my hand. Um, so this indicates something very interesting. Yeah, there's a chance, by the way, that your person has actually learned their lessons and they are coming in here wanting to fix the situation because the lovers card in the reverse energy indicates soulmate energy by the way it indicates soulmates that are no longer kind of like standing on the same ground anymore they've, they've been separated or they're on their way to separation can even mean trouble in paradise kind of vibe especially if you guys are still with each other now with that energy coming up there you need to know this is a possibility that this can be good it's it's a 50-50 thing. It depends on what hap what's happening with you. How do you feel this? How do you want this to be? Because of the energy that is coming through, it's literally showing that this can be repaired. I know Capricorn, if you're tired of the situation and you're just tired of their behavior, um, I think you need to do what is right for you, especially with the temperance energy coming out there. It's indicating that you will know what's the right thing to do moving forward. But you are not getting yourself, one thing's for sure, is back into the situation. So I almost feel like, let me tell you, if the this person is going to get back together with you or move forward with you as they want to do here. They are literally going to have to show you angels coming out of heaven with miracles and the works before you would step back in. But let's have a look. Let's go deeper. Like, wow, this person's got a real, real battle coming in here. They're going to find it really hard facing this energy here. That is not easy. So let me see. If you guys, let's break it down now. Let's go into every, every, every single individual zodiac sign and see what happens here. Let's start off with our Aries. If you guys are dealing with an Aries over here, what is going on with Aries? Aries is feeling hopeless and helpless and stuck and doesn't know what to do. You may have blocked this Aries. I felt some blocking going on over here with the temperance energy. Aries is blocked helpless and hopeless they can just stay off into the distance but they don't know how to get to where they want to be so there's an energy of them being blocked on their road with the mountains being there they don't know how to ascend those mountains even though they're trying they don't know how to get past it you may have blocked an Aries and um, they feel very restricted they don't like to be here this is them unable to even reach out towards you as well I'm just saying so let's see if you guys are dealing with a if the cards don't go flying, I love to throw cards around. You know that. I don't know if it's my spirit guides. I just get overly excited, but they always like to throw cards. So let's see. Taurus. Mm. Oh no, Taurus is building a road through the mountains. Okay. Taurus has got the manifest energy. They are literally... Uh, in the magician mode, they are working very hard. They want to repair as well whatever has gone wrong. If they were doing some stupid stuff in the past, they're not doing it anymore. Because this energy of uh, the manifest energy is a total serious energy that comes up here. They not only, they they building, they making a road to go over that mountain towards you. So they're just not hoping and praying that the road will appear. No, they're building one. They really want to come back in. If this is a person that you're with, they don't want a breakup to occur even though there may be a threat of one coming in here they're trying to fix the situation with Taurus Woo. so now if you guys are dealing with a Gemini let's have a look at Gemini what's going on with your Gemini let's see mm -mm, not that one <clears throat> Gemini scared <laughs> Gemini scared really Gemini scared I've never seen a scared Gemini I'm just saying Gemini is scared Gemini knows they can have this with you, but their fear has not got to do with you saying no. Their fear has got to do with, are they capable? Hmm. You see, here's your will card. Your will card gives you everything. Embrace. Yes, they do have feelings for you. If you're wondering, the Gemini's got feelings for you because there's a heart in this card here and it's growing roots. Okay. They attach to you. They got feelings to you for you. The thing is they don't they are not sure and they don't know if they are capable of giving you what it is that you want. This is their problem. This is what can keep them holding them back as well. Um, they kind of like, I almost feel like they kind of know their shadow self. They know, you know, Gemini is the twin. So there's a good side, there's a bad side. They kind of like 
are acquainted with their negative side and they know what they're capable of and how they've hurt you in the past. They want to come in, they know they can have it all with you, but there's an inner fear of them feeling um, not confident in themselves or even doubting their own abilities or even going, will I ever be a good person kind of vibe coming through there. This can hold them back. There's fear in this card. I don't feel like it's fear towards you. I honestly feel like it's fear towards who they are or how they view themselves to be. Wow. Um, lack of confidence there. I've got to tell you, lack of confidence. I do feel that they love you though. I do feel that they love you. Ooh. Let's see if you guys are dealing with a cancer. Let's have a look and see if you guys are dealing with cancer. Cancer's holding back. Cancer's waiting for a better moment to make a move here. Cancer's trying to wait for things to heal. But no one thing, because this is the hangman card, it does say observe. Not only are they observing their own selves and the unfolding of life around them, how things are, are developing, but they're also observing you. Um, cancer is very stalky-stalky right now. They are literally trying to follow you and trying to see what you're doing. I hope they're not really following you. I'm just saying, you know what I mean? But um, if it's like on social media, they're trying to, if they don't have contact with you, if it's an ex, they're trying to uh, follow you or see what pictures you're posting, what are you doing, if you're dating, that kind of energy. They really up in their head thinking here. If you guys are dealing with a person that you're already with, they are holding back. They really in deep thought here. They are wondering what to do next. They, it's almost like they're trying to find a solution to this problem. Wow. Oh, wow. So if you guys are dealing with a Leo, let's have a look. If you guys are dealing with Leo, what's up with Leo? Let's see. Leo is scared to make a move. Leo is scared to make a move whoa you must be beyond confident you are because leo usually they they when they want to do something they just make a move but this energy is new vitality it's in the reverse position this would be leo energy this is so fiery i mean there's your ace of wands energy the thing is here with the leo coming through in this kind of position it's it's showing them that they they scared to make a move they're afraid to come in they feel like now is not the best time to come in because maybe of what they've done to you they can also feel that you kind of like very much holding back from them as well this is them holding back as well um i don't think they're going to make any moves right now if this is a person that you're with just kind of be aware that they're going to be kind of like in this um they're with you but they kind of very withheld energy as well because they're kind of like feeling like they see you and how you're behaving and how you are being in this joy and delight energy it's really making them scared Okay, so it's making them hold back, not knowing exactly what to do next. Can be a little bit of a depressed energy coming through, a little bit of a worry coming through there. Very much, very much in their thoughts. So let's have a look. If you guys are dealing with a Virgo, let's see what's going on with Virgo. Virgo is serious. Virgo is really ascending the mountain. Do you know, I don't know how many times this Eight of Pentacles comes out for Virgo energy. It comes out in almost every time I do a reading for Virgo, there it is. You see, the thing is, Virgo likes security. Virgo, when they are ready, let me put that out there. The thing is, Virgo, when they're not ready, when they still in almost like childish mode, you can't get them to do anything. Oh, then they're the most unfocused person on the planet. And they'll be focused on things that they should not be focused on. They'll be focused almost on like, what are you doing? You know what I mean? Kind of energy. But when they start to grow up a little bit, when they start to really mature energy, all of a sudden it, something happens to them. It's just like a snap and then they, they matured. And all of a sudden they begin to realize exactly what is important and what life is all about. And that is when they start coming in with eight of pentacles like this. They will want to come in. They keep, they are definitely ascending the mountain. And let me tell you, they are strong enough to do so. They're going to keep coming towards you. They're going to keep wanting to repair what has been broken here. And by the way, this is long term dedicated effort when it's in the reverse position. Wow. So let's have a look. If you guys are dealing with a Libra. Libra, oof, Libra, Libra, <laughs> Libra may not want to be seeing you right now, refusing to see, I don't know if Libra is speaking to you, but it looks to me, especially if this is your reading with a Libra, um, it looks like to me like they kind of cut off from you, they don't want to see you, they don't want to talk to you, by the way, what they are seeing 
with regards to you maybe hurting them because if you actually look at the energy yeah they don't look too happy it kind of looks disappointed and sad it sort of look you know what i mean it's like down oh maybe what you are showing if you are showing that you are happy if you are showing that you are going to move on without them if you are showing that you know i'm just gonna i'm just gonna do me and i don't care what you're doing you did you now i'm doing me if that's the kind of energy that you got and you're showing that to them it's it's really scaring them and they're becoming a little bit paranoid over there. They're afraid that they'll get hurt. And they, they don't really want to see that. They want to see you coming back to them, not moving on without them. Oof, Libra. If you guys are dealing with a Scorpio, let's have a look and see Scorpio's energy. What's going on here? Scorpio. There we go. Let's see. Scorpio. Scorpio is not going anywhere. Um, Scorpio is not going anywhere. Judgment card in the reverse position. They're thinking a lot as well. They're thinking a lot um, deeper than what they've done before. You've got to know. They're almost having a little bit of a wake-up moment here. Um, they got the judgment card that is here. Now, if you actually check, if I can get lights to shine properly here. Yeah? With the judgment card being, look at this, the lighting. Ooh, there we go. That's better. With the, with the judgment card being here, if you check this judgment card, you can almost see like somebody working with an energy ball, like they're manifesting something. And then the energy slowly starts moving and it literally becomes something physical over here. So it becomes a thing. They are really feeling like you guys will get back together. They got this energy of going, I believe I'm going to get back together with Capricorn. If, if I put my mind right, then everything will fall right in the world as well. They believe that you guys can overcome whatever has happened to you in the past because this card is also so associated with karma. So they got that belief that I, I know we can move past this bad karma and move into a positive place. There's a good possibility that can happen, by the way, with a Scorpio. So let's have a look and see if you're dealing with oh, a Sagittarius. Oh, wow. I have to take the card that fell up in my lap, not the 10 that fell on the ground. Told you. I'm always throwing cards around all over the place. So let's have a look and see. Uh, that is the Sagittarius card. That's why I had to take it. Another temperance has come in here. Sagittarius is thinking a lot. Sag Remember, this is Sagittarius season that we're in right now. They need to find balance here. Sagittarius is being very careful. They are thinking about about you guys almost all the time. They wake up thinking about it. They go to bed thinking about it. You know, we like to think sometimes that the water signs are the ones that get up in their head and can't release things and get, you know, because the water signs are so emotional. They get in their emotions and they start thinking and they start feeling stuff. No, let me tell you, Sagittarius can be one of the worst ones in that kind of energy, especially when they get into this kind of energy. Um, they are totally not wanting to make a mistake again with you. I don't feel like, I feel like there's a bit of fear in them as well um, with regards to moving forward. They don't want to make another mistake either. They themselves don't want to make a mistake if they were the ones in the wrong. They're trying to think how can they proceed here. There's also a little bit of fear in this card as well. They're wondering, is this the right thing to do? Are we right for each other? Are we not right for each other? It's a very interesting energy coming through. They're torn a little bit between two different things. It's like they're really taking it very carefully moving forward here. I think you're going to get a lot of caution coming from Sagittarius as they go on. They don't want to come in and make a mistake again, that's for sure. Same energy almost like you got there. If you're dealing with the Sagittarius as well, because you got this energy of temperance being here, and again, in the Sagi sign, this could be a very strong, strong reading for you as well. So let's have a look. If you guys are dealing with another Capricorn, what's going on with the other Capricorn? Capricorn's waiting. Capricorn is waiting, he's waiting, or she's waiting. Look at this Seven of Pentacles energy, awaiting results. They're literally waiting. They're waiting to see how things are going to unfold. They are hoping that you guys will get back together and back to a place of security as well because you're talking about Pentacles energy. So they're hoping that think a moment is going to come. You know when you're waiting for, I've got grapes in my garden and they're so beautiful this year, little sultanas. And every day in the morning you'll go out and you watch them grow a little bit bigger and bigger. And we know when December comes, you can be eating grapes. And that's what they're doing. That's what they're doing. They are literally sitting there waiting for the grapes to get ripe and they are hoping there's going to be a moment where they where you will actually be able to let them back in or things will start to move again it's almost like they're hoping that things will happen naturally because you can see the roots growing there it's like let it just be natural let me not interfere too much let me just be there and let it be natural that things fall back into place if you guys are dealing with aquarius let's have a look 
Aquarius is heartbroken. Aquarius is heartbroken. You know, I think there was three signs here that kind of made me go, maybe four. Um, okay, this one still has hope though. But I feel like the ace, the the the, the uh, Leo, the Libra, and now also the Aquarius. These are the ones that may be looking at leaving this connection because they they kind of like cutting off. Um, it does say the five of cups. They they got their heart. They got their feelings really hurt here. Um, change your focus. It's almost like I'm looking at the energy here, and it's like they're kind of like looking away from the connection. They may be uh, thinking about maybe not coming back in with the Aquarius as well. Remember one thing: Aquarius is energy. Woo. If you've, have you ever hurt an Aquarius? If you're dating one, now you know. Yeah, they can shut down. And when they shut down, they shut down big time. I feel like that's what they're doing. They're kind of shutting down there. But it doesn't mean in the future they won't open up again. Remember, they do things quite differently. So when they shut down, they shut down. When they open up, all of a sudden, they can come in like nothing ever happened. And you're just like, what? Yeah, they can really do that. The change of focus energy can just flip on you at like a light switch. I'm just saying, let's have a look. Pisces, my last zodiac. Let's see what's going on with you. You know what? I don't know what's going on with Pisces these days. I think in this reading that I did at this spread, I got this emperor energy three times for Pisces. And the strangest thing is, this is so unusual to get the Emperor, which is the lead energy from Pisces. Because I told you, like those water signs, they can get so up in the head. But let me tell you something. There's something going on with Pisces these days. And Pisces is focusing on life and future and success and what it is they want. They are coming in. They mean business with the Emperor card as well. Although they're coming in, they're not playing. They're like, mm -mm, no, no, I'm not letting this go. They don't want to let this go. Um, they dedicated and focused and they are moving forward. They are they are also ascending the mountain. I almost feel like Pisces is building a, a, a tunnel through the mountain. They're not going over. They're going to make an alternative plan. They're going to come in differently as well. This is unlike Pisces energy I've ever seen. You must really mean something to them. Whatever they've done in the past, I think they are totally regretting that energy. They're trying to repair this. There we go, guys. If you want to check the extended out, going to be looking into everything as we saw it. Then we're going to go into how they will be feeling moving forward. Even you, how you'll be feeling. And the main energy is up here, how that will go. And then check this out as well. Complete separate reading. If you want to check it out, there's a link in the description box below. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. As usual, I'm sending you my light and love. Bye.